What's up, heathens? How ya doing? Today we have more comments, but first we have to crown the dumbass from last week. So, last week's dumbass was... This dumbass right here! Yes, you that compares, you know, abortion to killing a one-year-old child. Wow. I can't even imagine how fucked up you are to be able to suggest this. You're wrong, of course, and that's why you have won Dumbass of the Week. If you pick this dumbass from last week, then you win a million god points! Remember, these god points are worth about as much as the secret smile between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump. Speaking of a couple dipshits... A flat earther claims that I know everything. Apparently, Cullum's Law predates gravity. <sighs> Guys, look, I'm a moron again. Also, a fat fucktard. And ooh, somebody comes up with a new alternative name for me. If you're interested in any of these dumbass comments, then please stay tuned. Ah, uh, yes, but first we have... Today I learned... Ah, uh, yes. First up on Today I Learned that the Ark Encounter sued its insurers for not covering a million dollars worth of rain damage. <laughs> so the damage uh, took place over several months back in 2016-2017. And uh, we, actually when KC and I went to the Ark Encounter, we saw some of this damage being repaired because we couldn't, you know, go through the main entrance because it was damaged by the rain. And back in 2016, the Ark Encounter sued its insurers for paying the damages, which they ended up paying a little bit of money, but now they want them to pay the rest of the money. So they want the, they want their insurers to pay for all of the money, but this rain damage actually isn't covered in the contract with the insurers, so they're pretty much up shit creek without a paddle. Not that the Ark could float in the first place, but you know. Next on Today I Learned that a Mississippi GOP lawmaker, Douglas McLeod, was arrested for punching his wife when she didn't undress fast enough to have sex with him. He also threatened to kill her dog. He also is staunchly pro-life and voted to ban most abortions in his state at six weeks. So, you these good moral Christians out there are too busy punching the fuck out of their wives because they can't undress fast enough for sex. Which is kind of funny when you consider just the other week this Christian host said that Pete Buttigieg, Buttigieg, what, uh, so, sorry, I'm still having trouble with his name. Apparently he has violent sex with his husband and that's how she talks about, like, gay sex? Is that it's violent. <laughs> so... I have to say, this is way more violent than gay sex. Finally on Today I Learned that a Nigerian scammer, Emmanuel Nuud, 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 something, once sold a fake airport to an international bank for $242 million. I have to say, his speech is well above 100 <laughs> to be able to do that. But honestly, a Nigerian scammer was able to do that. It's no surprise that people get scammed out of their money with the whole prince needs $2,000 in order to get out of jail or something. This guy sold a whole fucking airport. Huh. Now we have... Out of Context Comics. In case you guys don't know, we love Out of Context Comics here. So if you have one, please send it to me on Twitter, at Gala's Engineer. Today, though, I'm not exactly sure who this guy is with the hatchet, but he's chasing after Flash, and he's just saying, FOR GRANNY! And uh, if you know who the villain is in this or who that is, please let me know in the comments. But it's just fucking hilarious that it's just a single panel that's just screaming for granny. <sighs> that's a grandma's boy if I've ever seen one. Huh. Now that we're done with that, you guys know what time it is. Shitty ass science! We're gonna answer some science shit to the wrong. Today on Shitty Ass Science, we have this. Is this how trees are born? Whew. 
Now listen, you guys have heard of tree huggers, right? Well, what you don't know that they love to do is they love to go out there and just violently fuck trees all the time. Yeah, they, I mean, you see all of these provocative tree pictures and everything everywhere. They just can't help themselves. I'm guessing this tree was bent over in a provocative way and then a tree hugger came by and fucked it up its tree end and then boom, f fucking baby tree is growing out the side of it. Boy, I bet you that tree hugger's proud to be a tree father. Don't fuck trees, people. Seriously, there is this fetish out there about fucking trees or fucking nature or something like that. Don't fuck nature. I don't know why that needs to be said, but don't do it. There's also a fetish where people love to fuck cars, but it doesn't mean that it's a good idea. Whew, all right, that's it for the shitty ass science, but now you know what we do. Comments of the day! Prepare to face fuck yourself in the next week! Whew, get your protective gear ready. I've got mine right here. Got it. I am ready for this week's dumbasses. <clears throat> I hope you are happy. You obviously know everything. And then just a Hansel and Gretel like breadcrumbs trail to, okay. I don't know why you had to put so many little periods there because this is no longer an ellipsis. This is just fucking nightmare for me. But no, obviously I don't know everything in the world, but I can promise you I do know more than fucking Dean Marble. It doesn't really take much more much more knowledge to know more than Dean Marble. You have proved absolutely nothing. Water is flat. Gravity is a theory. NASA lies. How do you possibly get so many views with such a pointless video? Thanks for proving nothing, buddy. Well, basically, people love to watch train wrecks, and every flurf video is a fucking train wreck, so people can't help but to watch and not look away. That's why Flat Earth videos do so well on YouTube, because people always want to look at other people that are obviously dumber than they are. Like here, the fact that you said that gravity is only a theory is just hilarious to people because it's like one of those train wrecks. You obviously don't know anything about what a scientific theory is, so it's just amazing that you know how to work a fucking phone or computer. The Earth land is not flat. The surface of water is flat and level when it rests. This is a simple fact with within properties of water. Next fact, relativity is a theory and yet supersedes gravity because gravity is a copycat pseudoscience. Plagiarism of Coulomb's law of electrical forces. Another fact, the surface of the earth is comprised mostly of water. Fun fact, land, earth, is above sea level. Fact of the day, horizon has the same perspective everywhere on earth. He <laughs> globe, question mark. Why, why are you smiling and then say globe in quotation marks? And then there's a question mark at the end of that. I don't understand the grammar of this entire little section. <laughs> horizon doesn't work too well on a globe, does it? Actually, the horizon does work well on a globe. Um, where the horizon actually doesn't work very well is a flat earth. Because obviously there shouldn't be a horizon on a flat earth because the flat earth is flat. You should be able to see clear across it. There shouldn't be a horizon on a flat earth. You know, I never really considered that until now, but the fact that there is a horizon means that the earth is curved. And, you know, to discuss your little Coulomb's Law thing here, it's impossible for Coulomb's Law to actually plagiarize gravity or Newton's Law of Gravitation, because Newton's Law of Gravitation actually popped up around 1687, whereas Coulomb's Law didn't pop up until 1785. So it's literally impossible for gravity or Newton's Law of Gravitation to plagiarize something in the future. And while they do seem to have a similar form, they were actually describing very different things that happened in reality. Flat out hero is not a real flat earther. He is trolling flat earthers. Earth is flat and stationary. Space is not real. There's a firmament above us. FlatEarth101.com. Don't go to that website. It's just, it's a train wreck, but it is a train wreck that'll cause a headache. 
Water is always flat, so water cannot bend around a globe. Physically is not possible. Actually, if you think about condensation, and water actually has a very strong adhesive property, meaning that it can stick to a lot of other things very easily, but it also sticks to itself uh, pretty easily. So uh, th that's the cohesion uh, property. So, I mean, water can like stick to the sides of things if you want to think of it like that. But also, you're not considering the fact that the Earth is massive and therefore the amount of gravity that the Earth has would also be massive and would be able to hold things to its surface. You're a moron. I have to give you credit for using the correct your, though. Dude, give it up. S ooh, it's lying to people. The Bedford experiment was never debunked and you cannot live on a ball. Please stop if you are not going to look into things you claim. Stop lying. Okay, for one thing, not lying. We can live on a ball. Uh, the Well, the, we live on a spheroid, technically, so not a ball. But, I mean, you get what I'm talking about. Also, your poor use of ellipses here gives me a fucking migraine. It also brings me closer to Force Whitaker Eye. And in fact, the Bedford level was debunked almost immediately. But uh, you see, they were pretty butt hurt that it was debunked very easily. And so they presented a smear campaign for the guy that debunked it, which, if you think about it, matches up with how Flat Earthers react now. They react with smear fucking campaigns. You look like you're one Big Mac away from a heart attack, you fat fuck. You know, I, I love it how they watch a video, or at least they read the title or something, and uh, like they don't have anything else productive to say, and they don't actually they they can't actually like combat what I'm saying or present a, a, a viable alternative. All they can be like is like, yeah, well, you're fat. It's like, oh, okay, I'm fat. Ooh, big deal. I'm fat. This guy is a fat fucktard. Oh, okay, raining blood 244. Okay, so this one's not a comment on the actual, like, channel, but I still felt like it was funny enough to bring up here. I'm not sorry! The next female that tries to whip her boob out to breastfeed in front of my kids will get a black eye! Move that baby because I'll punch it too! Like... Okay, I get that you don't like women breastfeeding in public, but hey, I'm not a woman, so it's not really any of my business, but to say that you would also punch a baby? Oh my god. <laughs> how, f how fucking dense are you? I can't even comment. This video is so full of bullshit. It's unbelievable. Top scientists have proved that NASA and all the other outer space nonsense they've tried to pull over the eyes of the masses is not real! Uh, how? Who are these top scientists that you speak of? I have not seen a top scientist disprove NASA and the, like, outer space. I, 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 I haven't seen that, so I would love sources. Stop stuttering. Learn how to speak correctly and chop this channel up in a zillion pieces and dop her up. Like, you're telling me not to stutter when you can't even put together a coherent sentence. Who are you? Well, I'm Godless Engineer, also <laughs> John Gleason, and uh, it's a pleasure to meet your dumbass. At the time of this post, this video had 666 likes. Oh, awesome. The devil's number. You know, that means you're cursed now. You know what my spirit tells me? Pray and pray hard. Oh, yeah. Suck that Jesus dick hard. Mmm, buddy. I bet you that Jesus dick tastes good, huh? Now, this one is not a comment really at all. It's just like, it, what is that? Like eight? Like, thumbs downs? I guess he thumbs down the video and then he couldn't do it more than once, so he put in eight more in the comment section. Uh, if you could elaborate on what you didn't like about the video, that would be awesome. 
You poor people are brainwashed, stuck in a box that your master deceivers created for you. If the truth was to fly by and smack you flat in the forehead, you still wouldn't see it. If Jesus' dick flew by and smacked me in the forehead, would I be able to see it then? Is that what happened to you? Did you get smacked with Jesus' dick? No one lives on a spinning ball. This guy making the video is as dumb as you get. Eventually, you globe believers will be given up on, and you guys can just live in this made-up world. There is plenty of proof you're not on a ball, and if you take the time to research for yourself instead of mocking flatirons, you may actually understand why they no, we are lied to. And you think that me making these videos and presenting the reasons why I disagree with them isn't me doing the research? See, here's the thing about these types of people. These people that don't know how to use your correctly, that think that we're being deceived by the Illuminati and shit. Here's the thing. The only kind of research that they actually want you to do is to just read and believe them. Just read what they say or listen to whatever the, the flat earth people say and immediately agree with that opinion. If you don't, then you're not doing research because I have been doing flat earth content for well over, I would say, probably two years. And this is all me looking at the arguments for a flat earth and finding them completely fucking ridiculous. That should clue you into how poor your evidence is. Because it's not just me. Everybody else sees the same shit too. And while there are people that are convinced by your bullshit, not everybody is. Because not everybody is that gullible. Clueless engineer! Lol! Internet policeman strikes again! Hello all you clueless engineer NASA! Fanboys! Hi! I mean, I'm not a NASA fanboy exactly, but I do like the work they do. I'm just gonna tell you this, man. God is real. Also, I don't know how to do fucking ellipses. And also, you just need to believe that God is real. Suck that Jesus dick so you can get into heaven, too. I mean, don't you want to be by this Dr. Kim motherfucker when you get to heaven? No. No, I don't. You silly atheists make me laugh in your denial of God. May he have mercy on your soul for denial of his glory. You know, I can't really think of God God's glory without thinking about how he just has a dick and balls out there that it, he calls glory. Like, look at my glory, y'all. <laughs> See, it's almost as big as GE's dick. And finally, today in the comments, we have this dumbass. By that same logic, you must assume it's possible he did rise from the dead. By the way, we have witness testimony, dummy. Um, no, we don't have eyewitness testimony to Jesus rising from the dead. All of those eyewitness testimonies are actually fabricated. They come many, many years later, and they're not based on actual eyewitness testimony or anything. They're actually based on the scriptures at the time, which would have been the Old Testament and probably Paul's writings. Um, so we actually don't have any eyewitness testimony, but also none of the logic that I've used in this particular video where I debunk eight facts about Jesus, I, you know, none of that logic could be used to say that, yeah, Jesus rose from the dead, uh, because you would need a lot of evidence to even suggest that, and we just simply don't have kind of evidence that we would need to conclude that Jesus actually rose from the dead, or let alone, in my opinion, that he even existed. But that's it for uh, this comments video, and we will continue next week with more dumbasses. Hey, have you went down below and left a comment yet with your vote? for uh, this week's dumbass. Let me know down below as well as voting in the straw poll. That one, the straw poll is what picks the dumbass for the week, so make sure you vote. While you're down there, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you like this kind of dumbass content. Don't forget to stand up and use your voice and I will see you heathens later.